Lucy was 23 years old when she passed away in January of 2019. Leading up to Lucy's illness, we noticed she'd always had headaches, that her headaches did get worse through the fall of 2018. And we did say, you know, because they're getting worse, let's get them checked on. So long story short, there was a colloid cyst that was undetected. And the fluids that go through your brain to normal in and out were blocked from this cyst. And it caused the pressure to build up. So, um, you know, it resulted in the brain damage that she died from. They did drain the fluids, but at that point, um, it was too late. Um, the brain swelled later that day, and we were told at that point that there would be no recovery. I was 30 years old. I had no medical problems. I had barely ever even been to the doctor myself. By the beginning of January, they told me that the only thing that was going to help me was a life-saving heart transplant. At that time, I remember the doctors told me I only had days to weeks left. Had I gone on with my, you know, own heart or have we, had we not found a heart? So within a month, less than a month of my life, I went from being a completely normal, healthy 30-year-old to a transplant recipient. In that process, organ donation popped into my head. And I thought, you know what? That way, Lucy could help other people medically and a part of her would still be alive. Lucy's heart went to a 30-year-old woman at the time. She was 30 in Pennsylvania. When I woke up from the heart transplant surgery, um, I, I, I think it was probably a combination of the medications that I was on along with the new, you know, brand new, you know, beautiful heart that I was given, but I felt invincible. Having a second chance at life, which I used to call it borrowed time, and somebody told me to actually change that to bonus time. With my, you know, bonus time, I like to tell people that I try to just make the most out of life. In the back of my head, I really wanted to, to meet uh, my organ donor's family. I thought it would be um, nice to show them, you know, the, the wonderful thing that their family had done for me. It was just hanging over me like a cloud. So when we were able to meet in person, it just, everything lifted from me. Finally, when I met her family, it was like a whole new level of knowing, you know, her and her family. And it was, it was very nice. Taking a serious look at what is the big picture here and Lucy's little pebble that dropped in the water has rippled rippled out to affect, we thought, just her organ recipients, and it's hundreds and thousands of people beyond that. So, yeah, we're glad we dropped that pebble in the water for Lucy. Way Do you want to pay for this? I know. <laughs> I hear it now. Music to my ears. Unreal. Oh, thank you so much. No, thank you. <laughs>